lines it can be in any direction draw it however way you like so like this it is going now i hope you finished drawing lines thrupi then now Atma. ah okay then draw a line which is parallel to l through the point p so draw a line which is parallel to l passing through p so can you draw so how will this line b it should be parallel to p so how will it be it will be like this only no so did you get a line like this everybody everyone got yes ma'am okay yes, so can you draw another parallel line passing through the point p and parallel to l draw try to draw another line which is different from this line okay name it as m okay small m for the line now try to draw another line which is parallel to l and is passing through the point p okay so how many parallel lines did you draw okay tell me did you draw the uh, the second parallel line could you draw that ma'am once repeat it again question okay so you you draw one parallel line which is passing through p ma'am okay can you hear ma'am is that uh, the last line is it l ma'am ha ah, it is a line l yes it is l okay okay so you draw so the first thing i asked was to draw uh, lines through the point p then i asked you to draw a line parallel to l and through the point p so you got a line like this now i am again asking you to draw a line which is parallel to l and it is passing through p can you draw that no ma'am we can't draw Yeah, I'm drawing. Yeah, so yes, ma'am. Could anyone draw that? Was anyone able to draw another parallel line other than this M passing through the point P and is parallel? No, ma'am. Okay, so no, ma'am. Uh, okay, tell me. Tell me who was that? Someone wants to say something? Ah, uh, Kelogeshwar. Tell me. I'm nothing. She's saying no, ma'am. Okay, so. so we and so we could only draw one line which is parallel to the line l and is passing through the point p only one line so and let's read the axiom again for every line l and for every point p not lying on l there exist a unique line so there exist only one line m which is passing through p and is parallel to l so did you understand this axiom so what does this axiom yes, say yes ma'am okay can you tell this axiom in your own words can you tell me what does this axiom mean we could draw oh. we could draw only one line which is uh, parallel to l ma'am ah uh, which is but in, by intersecting at the point p which is passing through the point p okay uh, which is intersecting through the point p we can only draw one line so that is if you are given a point and a line so there is a line there is a point so when you draw if you can only draw one line which is parallel to the given line and is passing through the point okay i think you understood what this axiom is can you write it down in your notebook so s ma'am s ma'am s ma'am you wrote Mm. Okay, then let's move on. Finish, ma'am. Okay, so I think you got the figure like this only. So this is the figure. Okay, here all the lines are straight, not like my figure. So 
there is the point P, there is the line L, then we could only draw the parallel, only draw one line which is parallel to L and passing through the point P. Ma'am, we can draw vertically also from um, to P. Vert you are drawing, uh, this, this line is vertical, right? Uh, this line, okay, vertically if you draw what happens, will it be parallel? So it will have it will be like this. It will be perpendicular. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will be perpendicular. So intersect, ma'am. Yeah, they intersect. It will be perpendicular. It is not parallel. So we need a parallel line. So this axiom says that there exists only a unique line which is parallel to the line L. So we need this a line like this, a horizontal line, not the vertical line. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, now draw two lines L and M intersecting at a point. So, you, ha you have to draw two lines. This is one line. Okay, I will name it as L. And we have to draw another line which is intersecting this line. So, let me draw this line. This is my M. So, did you draw like this? You can draw in any direction, okay. The lines should intersect and you should name the lines. Now, can you draw a line which is parallel to the to line L? Can you draw a line which is parallel to the line L? So, it will be like something like this. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, yes, ma'am. Will it be parallel to line M? No, ma'am. It won't be parallel, right? Then it intersects. Yeah. So, now try drawing a line which is parallel to both L and M. We it will not possible, ma'am. We can't draw. Ah, we can't draw. So, that is another equivalent statement for the fifth postulate. Okay? That big postulate we have. Another equivalent form. Two distinct intersecting lines cannot be parallel to the same line. Okay, two distinct mm. intersecting lines, that is distinct means two different, two unique, two different lines. So, the two different intersecting lines cannot be parallel to the same line. So, we cannot draw a, a, a parallel line which is parallel to both the intersecting lines. Okay, so read, read this for me Kavya, can you read? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay, right. Two distinct intersecting lines cannot be parallel to the same line. Okay, write, did, write this down in your notebooks. So, what all we saw in this class? We saw postulate 4 and postulate 5, right? So, let us recall yes, what we learned. Yes, ma'am. So, yes, ma can you tell me the postulate 4? Can anyone tell me? Anyone can answer that? Oh. Ah, okay, tell me who is this? It's not equal. Ah, all right angles are equal. Okay, then let me ask. Okay, I'll ask. Okay, I'll give the question. Can you state fifth postulate in your own words? Okay, I. the question is state fifth postulate in your own words. Whatever you understand, you can just tell me. Okay. Let me ask Patma. Patma, are you there? Patma? It is okay even if you cannot answer, you just tell me if you can answer. It is okay. Whatever you understood, just tell me for, uh, from the fifth postulate. What did we saw in the fifth postulate? So, let me show you that, so that you will understand. Okay. Patma, you there? Okay, anybody can tell me what you understood from uh, for fifth postulate. It is okay. Anyone can tell me. Ah, okay. When two lines intersect 
Mm. When, uh, with the distant points, when two lines just intersect, ma'am, mm. oh. then we can't make it as uh, like parallel by the same line. Okay, that is Playfair's axiom. No. Okay, that is the equivalent form. I know. In the postulate five, what what were we saying? So there are three lines, no, in postulate five. So there are two lines. and there is a transversal passing through them and then what how will they intersect that is what postulate 5 is telling us right on which side they will intersect like that can you tell me tell it again uh, ramya can you try it again postulate ma'am ah okay try it again Uh, there is a straight line means uh, there is a transversal, ma'am. Okay, so on the same side. Okay, if there is a transversal, there should be another. Uh, there should be at least two more lines, right? So, so for a transversal to pass, yes, there should be two more lines. So tell me. Okay, so there are three lines. Okay, tell me. There are three lines, ma'am. Hmm. And there are uh, some interior angles to that lines, ma'am. Okay, three lines. What is the property of the three lines? Hmm. one is a transversal that also you have to state okay one is a one is a line which is intersecting okay, both okay ma'am ah okay tell me there is a two lines and one of the among uh, another one is intersect mm. the two lines ma'am okay now you got it correct okay tell me continue mm. then we get some inter interior angles and exterior angles no ma'am ah okay we get some angles that and uh, and in that interior angles means when some uh, some lines are there then the some lines are getting intersect mm. they are just uh, below to 180 degrees ma'am the so sum of that lines angles some of the angles will be so and you have to mention you already told me there will be interior and exterior angles so will the exterior angles we are well are we considering the sum of exterior angles or that of interior angles Interior yeah. angles we consider, ma'am. Yeah, interior angles, and that too on one side we are taking. So on the side we are taking interior angles on one side. In which side angles, which are less than ninety degree? Okay. They should be less than ninety degree, and the postulate states that if they are less than ninety degree, these two lines will meet. in that side in the side where the sum of angles is less than 180 degree so thank you ramya so thank you ma'am yeah then next next we saw playfair's axiom right an equivalent form of postulate 5 and who can tell me playfair's axiom anyone can try what do you remember about playfair's axiom let me ask you let me ask someone anyone let me name someone okay patma sir mic is not working okay patma it's okay so let me ask pavan pavan can you tell me playfair's axiom what is playfair's axiom what, what you understood that, that only we need so pavan Okay, Rajeshwari. So, in Playfair's axiom, what we saw was there is a line and there is a point. Okay, there is a line and there is a point. So, a line for every line L, and for every point P, which is not on the line L. there will be a unique line m passing through p and parallel to l okay so in playfair's axiom we are saying that this is an equivalent form all this means the same thing only so there is a line l there is a point p which is not on the line l and if we draw a parallel line to this line which is passing through the point p it will be only one 
So there will be a unique line which is passing through the point P and it is parallel to line L. So then what did we saw? We saw that two distant intersecting lines cannot be parallel to the same line. Okay? Two distant intersecting lines cannot be parallel to the same line. Okay, now let us solve a problem. So, can you read this question? Leta, can you read this question? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay, read. There exists a pair of straight lines that are everywhere equidistant from one another. Is this statement a direct consequence of Euclid's ah, yeah. Euclid's fifth postulate. Fifth postulate. Explain. Okay, so there is a pair. The, we have we are given a statement. There exists a pair of straight lines that are equidistant from one another. So there are two straight lines and they are equidistant. Okay, can you draw such a, such two lines? So, there are two straight lines which are equidistant. Oh, sorry, this will not be equidistant. So, draw using a scale and pencil, okay. And na name this line, take any line L and a point P. If we can draw such two lines. So, take a line L and a point like what we saw in play phase axiom. Okay. So, you just take a draw a line and take a point which is not on the line. So, then by play phase axiom can, what can we say? There is a unique line which is passing through the point P and is parallel to the line L. This is what we saw in play phase axiom. So, it will be like this, this line. So, there is, there will be a line L which is parallel to the line, uh, sorry, there will be a line M which is parallel to the line L and it is passing through the point P. So, what can is, we, here we are given that there are, uh, this every equidistant from each other. So, do you remember how we will calculate the distance of a point from a line? We will take the perpendicular distance. So, we will draw a perpendicular from the point and we will measure this. Okay, this is the distance between a point and a line. So, here 